I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you solution of an absolute inequality. Question is solve when absolute 2x plus 4 is between 1 and 5. Now let's rewrite this question. We are saying that the absolute function, let me take 2 as a common factor, so we get x plus 2 within brackets, right, is between 1 and 5. So that becomes the equation for us. Now, you can see that the absolute function has been translated two units to the left. Let me sketch one here. So I'm just making a very, very rough sketch. So the absolute function has been moved two units to the left. Let's say this is one, this is two, uh, three, four. Let us say this is minus two, two units to the left. So when I write x equals to minus two, I get zero here. And it has been vertically stretched by two. That is to say, that instead of, uh, let's say if I write x equals to 0, in that case it will be 2 times 2, 4, right? So, so at 0, which is 2 units away, it is not at 2, but it is at 4, correct? So it is here, so that becomes at 0, right? From the symmetry, at, uh, at minus 4, also it will be at, at 4, correct? So those are the the y-intercept. So let me just sketch this. So we have kind of function here like this. So that is the absolute function. So from here you can say this line is you can say 2x plus 4. Okay, this is 2x plus 4. 4 is the y-intercept, right? Slope is 2, right? And on this side it is negative of 2x plus 4. We just flipped this Right. So therefore, this absolute function, let me rewrite the original equation, which is 2x plus 4, could be written as a piecewise function. So it is uh, 2x plus 4 positive value when x is greater than or equal to minus 2. However, it is negative of this. That means minus 2x minus 4 when x is less than negative 2. So that is how we can actually write our absolute function. Now, graphically I can show you the solution here. We are saying that this function should be between 1 and 5. So this is my value 1. So let me draw a line here 1. And let's say this is 5 for us. So that is to say this is y equals to 5 and this is y equals to 1, right? So this is 1, this is 5. So the function is between 1 and 5, clearly the solution is, it is just one unit away, right, this point and this point, right, so this is at 5, so this will be uh, somewhere here, right, so, so here. So the solution is between these two points, as you can clearly see, right. So graphically, it's kind of simple to find the solution. Let me show you algebraically and let's find the exact values. Now when we do algebraically, it is better to divide this into two parts. The first part here is on the left side of, so we say x is le less than minus 2 and this part is when x is greater than or equal to minus 2. Since the absolute function is defined as a piecewise function, correct? So this equation becomes 1 is less than, when it is less than minus 2, then the absolute value is really minus 2x minus 4, and then this is less than 5. When we are on the right side of minus 2, it's a positive value, so it is 1 less than 2x plus 4, which is less than 5. Now let's solve them one by one. So first let's add 4 on all the sides. So we get 1 plus 4 is less than minus 2x minus 4 plus 4 is less than 5 plus 4 or 5 is less than minus 2x which is less than 5 plus 4 is 9 and now we'll divide by minus 2. So when you divide by a negative number these inequalities also change. 5 divided by minus 2 is minus 5 over 2. We are left with x here and this becomes minus 9 over 2. 
So when you are on the left side of minus 2, that is the kind of solution. In decimals, you can write this as minus 2.5. X is between minus 2.5 and 4.5 minus, right? Um, I mean 4.5, okay? So that is the solution. On a number line, you can see we are working for X on the left side of minus 2. So this is minus 2 for us. I mean, we are looking for this solutions in this area. And we do have a solution, which is from minus 2.5. So let's say this is uh, minus 2.5. Let me show the solution in a different thing. Minus 2.5 to minus 4.5. So let us say this is minus 4.5. So it is between these two. Is it okay? So the solution is right there between minus 2.5 to minus 4.5. So this point is minus 4.5 and uh, this point here is minus 2.5. You get the idea. Correct? Let's solve the right side now, which is to the right of minus 2. So for that we'll subtract 4. So 1 minus 4 is minus 3. We get 2x. Less than minus 4 is 1. So subtract 4. So that is first step. Subtract, okay. And then we'll divide by 2. So minus 3 by 2 is greater than x is greater than half. I mean, x is greater than half. So, so x is between minus 1.5 and 0 0.5. Is it okay? So this point here is when you see, uh, I mean, this point here is minus so this point here is minus 1.5 and the other point here is 0 0.5 and both are on the right side of minus 2 so on a number line I mean let me do it separately here this is on the right side of minus 2 let's say this is minus 2 for us we're looking for solutions on the right side and what we get here is from minus 1.5 to 0 0.5 correct so this is minus 1.5 to 0 0.5 combining these two we can write down our answer right so so our answer here is between minus 4.5 to minus 2.5 and between minus 1.5 to 0 0.5 you get the idea right so on a number line, let me sketch the solution here on a number line. We already have it. Uh, let me just make it slightly more bigger than what we have. It's kind of uh, like this, right? So, I mean, so this value here is uh, minus 4.5, minus 2.5. This is minus 1.5, and here we have 0 0.5. So that becomes the solution on a number line. So I hope you understand the steps. That is how we should be solving absolute inequalities. You could do it graphically as we initially did, or you can do algebraically. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe and learn a lot from my videos. Thank you and all the best.